what's going on everybody it's been a while probably about a month and I, i'm still here i've just been working on my chewy i'll show you what i'm doing right now it's just kind of an update really a uh, chewy update and uh, just really an update all around but uh so i've been busy working on i've actually already made a mask a chewbacca mask and it was all right for my first one i think it was fine it was all right it just didn't look like chewy to me and so i made some changes so that's why it's it's been taking me so long to do this because i have to build like i showed y'all i had to make like a mother mold i have to make a, a junk mold for the underskull it's just like the underscore right here and then i have to make a mold for this face skin i'll show y'all i'll show y'all my first one here's my first one it's not bad. I mean, it, it looks okay. It's just there's some things about it that I wanted to change, and uh, I made some changes to my to my model, my 3D model, and printed it out, and then just did another another mask. But as you can tell on this one, it's got uh, it's got a movable mouth there. It's got a tongue. Uh, the roof of the mouth, that's all uh, EcoFlex 20, so it's real soft. And then the teeth I made uh, uh, I made out of clay, and then I made a um, silicone mold for it. And then I cast it in a uh, resin. So they're resin teeth, and then the gums, gums also are resin. But yeah, that's my, that was my first, that was my first attempt. I didn't like, the mouth was too wide, like it's too... I shouldn't say too, the mouth is too wide. The lips are not too wide, but the muzzle is too wide. So this part right here needed to be more narrow. Squeeze it in a little bit. Uh, I was kind of okay with the nose. It's not bad. The eyes look angry. <laughs> and there's really nothing I could I could do about that because it was just in the mold or in the in the sculpt. So on the next sculpt, I, I corrected those things. It looks like crap right now just because it's I'm putting hair on it. So I made the I made the muzzle more narrow. I made the mouth uh, a little more shut. Whenever it's just sitting there, it's more shut. The eyes look more of like a kind of like sad eyes more than angry eyes, which is more of what I wanted. The nose I changed up a little bit, just made it a little smaller. But yeah, that's, and it's got, it's got uh, the same resin. Uh, I had to redo the teeth again also, because they wouldn't fit on that one because the, the muzzle was so much more wide. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I'll show y'all how I'm doing this. So pretty much you just take this mesh right here. If you can see that, see that mesh. So you hook, where's my little tool at now? Well, I've got some right here I can show you. So it's these, these little tools right here. This little thing it has a has a little hook on the end there. If it'll zoom in on it. It has a little hook on the end, and then it has a little thing that goes up and down there so that you can hook the hair, pull it through a loop, and then tie it off. And that's what I did on that on that mesh. Just lat latch hooked all this and then I glued it onto the skull. And then now what I'm doing is I'm just I'm taking some silicone, some clear silicone number one uh, GE brand, and going through and just adding it. So I'm doing like nine inch hairs all the way up to this mark right here. If y'all want to see exactly how to do this, I, I would suggest go watch uh, Josh Beckett's uh, video, and I'll put a link in the description to his to his YouTube channel. But he does all the stuff. That's who I learned how to do this from, just by watching his videos. So I'm not an expert. I'm just like all the other videos I've said. I'm just a dude trying to make stuff in in my shop and trying to make it look as cool as I can. So, anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'll come back whenever I get some more hair on it. And it's going to take me a little while. It takes. I'm kind of trying to let this sit for a little bit. And once it gets to where it's not tacky anymore, then I'll come back and do 
a couple more layers up. But I'm trying to get all the all the gray hair because his gray hair is going to come all the way to the to the forehead and down to the nose here. And then I'm going to put some gray right here along the side and then down to where kind of like sideburns. Then after that, I'll be putting the brown on. And I'll, I'll do brown up to like about right here and then I'll I'm gonna have to punch hair punch the rest of it and I'll show y'all how I'm, how I do that when I come to it anyways I wanted to give you all an update let you know that I I'm not I haven't quit or anything I'm still working on stuff it's just kind of stuff that um, like this molding process and all that it's just kind of difficult to for me to set time aside to film and edit at the same time because I've got a full-time job so but I'm definitely going to keep on doing stuff and I'll show y'all how I'm doing this uh, in the videos to come so y'all stay tuned Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back in here and I got, uh, put some hair on Chewy here. The, this is my version too. It's gonna show y'all where I'm at. Okay, turn it upside down here. So I got all the, all the gray hair is done on the back of the head here. And you can see how far it came down on the eyes and then come back and do sideburns also. So the rest of it is gonna be, well, minus the mustache. The rest of it's gonna be this brown right here. And I just did one, let me see if I can turn it. I just did one row of hair across the bottom here. And then I'm just gonna keep coming up until I get it right about there. And then I'll come up a little bit on the sides right here. And then the rest of it will be punched. I'll have to punch it with this, with this little, it's a felting needle is all it is. And I just took a, a dowel and drill the hole in it put the felting needle in there so you can just take a little handful of hair and punch it in there and I'll show y'all how I, how I do that too but yeah that's what I was gonna show y'all where I'm at on Chewy here and he's got a sweet little sweet little do going right now they always it looks so weird when it's like this but anyways there he is so far I'm going to get after it and I'll come back whenever I get to the hair punching and kind of show you all what it looks like before that. All right. All right, back on Chewy. So I've been punching for, gosh, a couple of days just off and on and I'll show you this side. See there's one side of Chewy's face. I got it all punched. Let's see if I can get it off of here. All of that up to the side of his nose and then over the eyes. See, this side's not done. I haven't really touched this, but all that is done. I did as a mustache. I'll probably do it a little thicker right there around the filthrum, but so far that's where I'm at, and I am still going. So I'm gonna put it back on here. I'm gonna have to comb it a little bit. Just messed it all up. got a styrofoam head on a tripod that's what I, that's how I'm working on this there we go come on there we go let me comb it real quick just using a it's like a detangler brush nothing special I'm just trying to keep the hair going back because when I flip it down or when I flip it right side up it's going to kind of come down on the sides so I'm just trying to keep it from getting all tangled and nasty all right and I'll show y'all 
I'm gonna try to try to zoom in a little bit here on this. You're not gonna be able to see it. It's not gonna be able to get close enough. But I'll tell you exactly how I'm doing it here. dropped it I think so I'm just getting the these are gonna be kind of about nine inches on the side here so I'm just kind of matching matching this here so I'm kind of flatten it out see how they're all uneven right now I'm gonna flatten this out so now they're except for that end they're pretty straight And I'm just kind of setting it to the side here. And I'm the direction of the hair that I want the hair coming. So it's gonna be this way, just like this. So I'm gonna punch it that direction. So all I'm doing, it has little barbs on it on the needle. It's a felting needle. Little barbs on it and it grabs the hair and then it pushes it into the silicone and then when you pull it out, it stays in there. So I'm trying to do just like one or two hairs at a time, but sometimes I get a big bunch of them and I just kind of pull them out. So I just hold it like this, lay it on there, and then I push them in there, bring a hair out. Can you see that strand of hair there? Let's see if I can get another one. Let's see if you can see that hair. See it? There we go. Well, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just going to continue this all the way up, just like I did on the other side. So I'll come back when I get it all done, and then we can uh, work on kind of styling it. Because it's going to take a lot of styling. Because some areas, like I can already tell, like right here, next to the eye here, it's kind of thick. I might be able to do it with some hairspray, kind of pin it down. And then I want to I get some more definition in the brow and my sculpt I have brows so you just can't see it because because this hair is so thick but if I hold it down so you can see the brow there and I and then I'll have to I think I'm gonna punch a little further down on the nose and then I can get a little kind of a little crease there that's really the main parts that I'm gonna focus on when I'm doing the styling but we'll, when we get to that I'll come back and we can I'll kind of show you because really honestly I don't know what the heck I'm doing anyways I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go but this mask looks a lot better than my first one I mean so much more like chewy I mean once I get it styled I think it'll be I think it'll be good a good mask anyways I'll be back whenever I get this done and uh, we can we can figure out the styling all right. Hey guys, welcome back to Captain Nader's School of Beauty. I'm working on uh, old Chewbacca here. I actually got everything punched and as you could tell in the last videos I just kind of showed you how I do it but I got all the hair punched and I got let's say it's pretty much styled already but I'll show you all what I did so I wanted the definition in the brow right here uh, so what I used was a little razor comb you can see if I got it here it is just a little cheap razor comb off of Amazon and I just went through, I kind of thinned out. I'll show you where I thinned out. It was super thick right here under the eyes. So I thinned that out a little bit and I thinned out the brow up here a little and right over top of the, like the forehead. I wanted it to show a little bit more of the black, or the gray, not, not just all brown. So I got that done. Then I went through and then I started to form stuff kind of with the contour of the face. And so I just I spritzed the brow like that. And then I just kind of held my hand over top of it for a little bit. 
until it dried. So I'll hold it there for just a couple minutes. This stuff dries pretty fast. Blow on it a little. And then now I have definition in the brow right here. I don't know if you can tell by the, let's see from the angle there. Yeah, so I've got I've got definition in the brow. I've got the I've got right here. I held it down and sprayed it and just kind of held the hairs that are right above on the top part of the nose just to give it a little bit. If you look from the side profile, how it on Chewy it kind of comes in just a little bit right there. So I got that done. I spritzed the the stash and I did one side of the face at a time. So I like spritzed this whole side right here, sprayed it down, and then I just took my hand and just held it on there like that, held it down all the way down to the silicone so that it's as flat as it can be. And I just held it for a couple minutes, let it dry. And I did the same with the under the chin. I, I just held the chin like this, sprayed it, and then held it like that for a couple minutes. And that gave me the, the definition of right under the chin because it's not perfectly flat kind of comes down a little bit and then the top part I mean I've just kind of been combing that I still need to I still need to put some curls in there because he has some curl to his to his hair uh, I'm not gonna do it right now though I'm just gonna leave it alone for a little while because uh, it looks good right how it is right now and I don't want to keep messing with it and mess it up but I'll eventually curl, I'll eventually put some curls in the hair, uh, you know, give it a little more of a realistic, chewy look. But man, I am so, let me see if I can lower this down a little bit. Sorry, it's shaking all over the place. All right. I'm just, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I will, I'll put this, right there and then I'll hold the, the one that I did to begin with. Of course this one's all raggedy and not styled right now but you can get an idea of how different version two. So we got version one right here. Doesn't look bad you know I mean it's just there's things like I talked about. The top part of the head is not high enough in my opinion. The nose is too big on this one. The mouth is not too wide. They're like the lips are not too wide. It's just too, it's not, it's not narrow enough. The muzzle's not narrow enough, so it doesn't come in far enough. It's just, there's no, you can see it from the top. See how wide this part is right here? If you look at from the top on the other one, see how narrow that is? It's stuff like that. This, this it's like little things that change, it's change the whole look of it really. I mean, it's a super hard, you wouldn't think that Chewbacca would be a hard, hard thing to sculpt, but it's ridiculously hard. I mean, I messed with it for a while on that, making that 3D model, just changing little things. I just couldn't get it the way I wanted to. But here we go again. I'll show you side by side. This is that, the first one. Uh, let me get the right angle. That's the first one, and next to the second one. Look how different that that look is. There's no definition in the brow. The brow just goes straight back. Um, the eyes look angry, whereas on this one, the eyes are sad. It's just it's just little things like that, guys, that change the whole thing. I mean, and yeah, I could have just. I mean, I was pretty happy with this one. I could have just stopped on this one and been like, you know, that's good enough for me. But I wanted to, I wanted to get it as close as I could get it. And I had a lot of help from different people like Josh Beckett. He helped me out with the mold process and everything and been bugging him and Joey Ariel with Chewbacca 5.2. Uh, they both make such awesome masks and they're they're great at stuff and they just were super nice just to talk with me you know and help me out and kind of give me little tips and stuff here and there and i, I appreciate that so much because i really it wouldn't have 
turned out as good as it did if I didn't have the advice from you guys. And so thank y'all again. I, I just, I really can't thank you enough, honestly. It's super, super awesome that you helped me out. Plus, well, I'm not a wook yet, but I'm going to be eventually when I finish the suit. But us wooks gotta stick together. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to show y'all the mask, get you to see Chewbacca. I cannot wait to get this thing, to get this whole suit done and to, to troop in this thing. It's going to be <laughs> so cool. Uh, just seeing, it's my favorite thing is whenever a kid sees you, uh, the first experience I had with that was when I made my stormtrooper or my sand trooper costume out of foam and I wore it and it, I mean it's not like perfectly accurate but <coughs> to a kid it looks like it's right out of the movie and just the look of the kids kids faces when they when they see you and their eyes just light up and they're like oh my gosh there's like a real life stormtrooper here and I've got to go see him and I, I swear I went to the fall festival, that was the first time I wore that, and I had so many people taking pictures with me, it was crazy, and the kids just loved it, so that's my favorite part of the whole thing. I know I'm a super nerd, I freaking love Star Wars stuff, and I, I love the characters, and just the story and everything, even the new ones, I know people hate on the new ones, I like the new ones too, I like all of them, I even like the Clone Wars, all the cartoons, I've watched all of them, I haven't read any of the books. Not a big book guy. I just can't, I can't read for very long. I just can't stay focused. I'll fall asleep or something. But I love Star Wars and I love making this stuff. And I like sharing it with y'all when I, when I make something, you know. And hopefully I can help y'all out. And if y'all have any questions, you can just ask me and I'll help you out. But anyways, I wanted to end this video with, you know, the final look of Chewie. I got there's a side profile it's hard to get the right angle in here there's a side profile oh, there's his face there's the other side profile there's his face some more angles there it's just so cool I'm so excited about this I mean I just can't believe how it, it turned out, how it did. But, you never know until you try. I mean, I have people on there ask me all the time, like, how do you make stuff like this? Or how do you, how do you make your death trooper so fast? Honestly, I work, I work a lot of hours. Like, we have mandatory overtime. I work more hours than normal people do. And I just come home and then... After I hang out inside and eat and with the family and stuff, I'll come out here at night whenever they're getting the shower and about to go to bed and I'll print stuff. Uh, I'll mess with the costumes. Uh, it's just, you just gotta try. Like, if you think that you can't do it, you won't do it because you just, you don't have any confidence in yourself. But if you just try it, that's the problem. A lot of people are just afraid to try it because they're afraid to mess up. But I mess up all the time. As you can tell, messed up on this one, made it again, and now I have this. It's a pretty accurate Chewbacca face. But just got to try. That's my lesson for today. You can do it. You just have to try to do it. it don't give up. Don't, you know, say, oh, I don't think I could do that. You just, you know, you're you've got the skills to do it and this and that or whatever no i just honestly i just try everything if i like something and i want something i will make it i just i might not be good at it at first but i'm going to make one I promise you so that's my lesson don't say you can't do it just try to do it all right all right guys until next time i'm going to come up Come back with a hopefully tomorrow i'm gonna have a vader video uh, i've got to do some polishing and i still have to finish this let me show you this freaking dome man i gotta finish this dome and i've got to polish these are so filthy because they've been sitting in here 
after I painted them, I've got to polish these shins and I need to I need to coat the inside and outside of this one, the version two Vader Rogue One, with um, epoxy, tabletop epoxy. I'm gonna coat this. I'm gonna coat the dome. Do some polishing, some waxing. So y'all come back tomorrow and watch this video, this next video, and I'll give you an update on Vader. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. See you on the next one. Bye bye.